What's up guys and welcome back to the Scopespear channel. As you see in the title, today's video is going to be the third episode of Scope Analysis. I saw that you really liked the first two, so if you want more episodes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to leave a like to show your support. For this third episode, we'll analyze the strength of one of my favorite Angibino no Hippo characters, who is a real freak of nature and who once beat a pair with his bare hands, I'm talking about Takamura Mamoru. As always, we'll analyze his strength on the five dimensions of strength. Speed, combat skills, overall strength, proprioception, and endurance. Four points to gain in each dimension, and in the end, a score out of 20. All right, now that everything's clear, let's start the third episode of Scope Analysis. Let's go! Regarding speed, I won't lie, at first I thought that Takamura was just average. For me, he was just very strong and had a great technique thanks to his intense training. But through watching all these fights, I've come across a few scenes during which Takamura was insanely fast. During his first professional fight, he really thought that his opponent was faster than him. But after a few exchanges, he realized that all the countless hours of training with the coach made him faster than anyone. After sparring with him, Miyata even stated that Takamura was faster than him while being heavy. And to conclude, there is one scene in the fight against Hulk that really shows how fast Takamura is. During this scene, Takeshi is wondering if Takamura is not even faster than guys in the lighter weight classes. For these reasons, I give Takamura a 3 out of 4 for his insane speed. Regarding combat skills, this time I think everyone can agree that Takamura is on another level. Again, at first, people can just think that he is just big, strong and not very technical. However, it's been highlighted a lot of times that Takamura has a real instinct for fighting. Like a primal instinct. Combined with hours and hours of intense training with Kamogawa, aka one of the best coaches in Ajime no Ippo, you obtain both a very talented and very skillful fighter. Just like in real life, the most effective way of fighting is to focus on the basics, like the left jab, the one-two and the footwork, and then to build some new moves on top of this solid foundation. And it is exactly what Takamura has been doing with the coach Kamogawa. For me, he's close to perfection, that's why I decided to give him a 3.5 out of 4 for his incredible boxing skills. Regarding overall strength, Takamura is a real freak of nature. As I said in the intro, he even fought with a pair in one episode, and you can see his strength by looking at the impact of his punches. During a lot of his fights, you can see him punch people to the point of sending them out of the ring. And during training, we can see him doing some strength exercises, such as carrying the coach scooter. So in general, I would say that Takamura is very strong. It's just a shame that we don't see him doing weight training, because in my opinion, he would be very good at it. Judging by the type of training he does, I think he's more endurant than strong which is something I will talk about in the last part. So for his overall strength, I give Takamura a solid 3 out of 4. Regarding proprioception, I think it's obvious that Takamura has a great control of his body. Just by being a boxer, he has a great understanding of how his body moves in space. We can see him by the way he moves inside the ring and when he performs some combinations. However, compared to the other 3 dimensions, proprioception is definitely not something that Takamura is known for. This might be connected to the fact that he's just a regular boxer and not a kickboxer or a mixed martial artist. He definitely uses his leg for boxing, but not as much as a kickboxer would do. For instance, we don't really know how flexible he is, or if he could perform some acrobatic techniques like handstands or flying knees. But then I remember his insane bodyweight control that we saw in the last video, and I decided to give him a 2.5 out of 4 for knowing the limits of his body so well. Alright, so to conclude this analysis, We'll have a look to Takamura's endurance, which is definitely one of his assets. In my opinion, this was very well shown when Ippo was following Takamura's workout. We can see him wondering how Takamura can endure so much quantity of training while being on an empty stomach. His cardio is just outstanding, and he's also proven multiple times that he can eat a lot of hard punches without falling. Against Hulk, he went to the 8th round just before finishing him during one of the best scenes of Hajime no In addition to the physical part, he's also very tough mentally. When he's facing monstrous opponents or doing insane training, 
you always remember the reason why he boxes. To be the strongest. For these reasons, I give Sakamura a 3 out of 4 for his incredible mental and physical endurance. So to conclude this video, if we add all the grades together, Sakamura obtains a solid 15 out of 20. This time, it's one point more than Zoro that we saw in the first episode, but judging by Takamura's record of 25 fights for 25 wins for 25 KOs, I think it's safe to say that Takamura is stronger than Zoro, at least without his swords. Now that's it for the video guys, I hope you really liked this third episode of Scope Analysis. This time again, I will ask you on Instagram which character you want me to analyze for the next episode. Have a very nice day, keep working out, and I see you soon in the next video. Peace out.